I just want to share quickly how Jesus Christ has changed my life. I was about the age of 23, and um, I'd spent eight years uh, drinking, gambling. At the age of 17, 18, the police charged me with being a habitual drunk. I was getting in trouble with the police, fighting and drinking, and uh, they said, we can, we can lock you up. Even though you turn 18, we can just come and lock you up if we see you drinking, you're a nuisance. Uh, by the time I was 23, I was fed up. I thought my life's not working. I, I was struggling to function. I couldn't pay my mortgage. I was um, just had no peace. And I thought I need to stop drinking. I need to stop carrying on like this so I could just function like a normal human being. And in this time of uh, soberness, I started thinking about my life and I started thinking about my sins that I'd done. And I, I was raised a Catholic and I was thinking, I need to go to confession or something. And I was thinking, well, I don't want to tell anyone of my sins. I thought, oh, maybe I'll go to a country town, I'll, I'll tell some stranger my sins. I'm, I'm just too embarrassed. And I thought, ah, oh, I can't even remember half the stuff I've done. <laughs> and I thought, that's no good. <laughs> and it was about that time that, I, that God started getting my attention. It was like I was getting honest and God started, seemed like everywhere I went, God was waiting for me. I remember walking along the building site. The, the, what, felt like I had the weight of the world upon my shoulders and I just felt this peace hit me. And I'm like, wow, where's this coming from? And um, I was walking home one night and it was like someone just jolted my head to the sky and I seen this shooting star at the exact same time and I thought, wow, and I just looked up to the sky and I said, good one, God. <laughs> it was like every, God was just powerfully getting my attention. I remember saying to my mate at work, Andy, I think I might start going to church. He goes, what do you mean? I says, well, I want to stop drinking and smoking and that. there's no use going to hell sober. And um, <laughs> it's just started to dawn on me that if God's trying to get my attention, I need to respond. And um, I thought, right, I need to pray. And I got home I, and uh, I tried praying in my rocking chair. And uh, I thought, this, as soon as, before I even got God's name out of my mouth, this, this fear hit me. It's like, this is no respect. You're not showing God any respect. And I was fearful. I got afraid in the presence of God and I fell down on my knees. And this prayer fell out of my mouth. I said, God, it would be a privilege to do a job for you. I didn't know how to be a Christian. I didn't know why God was trying to get my attention. And at the same time I was speaking, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he said, I've prepared a place for you with me. Amen. And I was just shocked. I knew this wasn't my voice. It was exactly when I was speaking. And I said, what? And it was like a double what? I'm like, God, are you speaking to me? And it was also like, well, have you prepared a place for me? And, I, and then I said, God, but I've been such a... And I swore. And um, I got up from that prayer. And I thought, wow, what's going on? I thought, I need to get myself a Bible. I got my Bible, my little Gideon's Bible that I, was, that I had in my drawer. And I started reading it. And I, I read, I just started reading through it. And the peace of God just started hitting me. And I, um, I knew the feeling of being born again, the Holy Spirit coming to my heart. I remember reading a scripture that says, Do not be deceived as sexually immoral drunkards, nor covetous nor thieves, as describing all these people. These people shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And at that moment of reading that scripture, I knew that my religion wouldn't save me. I knew my sacraments. I knew going to confession wouldn't save me. I knew I had to turn from my sin. And when the Holy Spirit came into my heart, that was easy. It was like I had a new conscience. He made me clean. And, and the blood of Jesus Christ uh, delivered me from my sin. And here I am 20 years later, married with a family. And I, I'm living a normal life. I'm just functioning normal. I don't feel like sinning. I've got peace in my heart. Yeah, and um, you can have that tonight if you ask Jesus. Yeah. Yeah.